Yeah, look, Wells Fargo's giving me my loan modification. I said, could you put it on speakerphone so we can hear that you got it? I said, so we can celebrate together? Wells Fargo said your loan okay. modification was denied. And she just went, uh, and next thing you know, she goes, what am I going to do now? And they said, she said, could you reconsider? They said, no, and hung up the phone on her. She told me today, told me Friday, could you consider coming back on Monday so we can start the short sale? I said, sure we can. I'm going to let it sink in over the weekend. Uh -huh. Today I did her paperwork. Okay? These homeowners do not understand what's going on. And if you tell them what's going on, then they will believe you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, today, bad for them, good for us. We have more negotiating power. That's it, plain and simple. And the short sales are where you guys want. It's like putting money in a bank. I'm telling you, money in a bank. So okay, so Tony, tell us about one of your funny stories. Oh, <laughs> Jay, he's over here in Compton. He's getting foreclosed on, and we went to the guy. He had a gun in his pocket, and we were sitting there talking to him. And I didn't see the gun at first. My partner did. And then I looked, and I said, ooh, he has a gun. So I said, so I went to the guy. We were skipped talking to the guy, and the guy kept, you know, looking over here, looking over there. And, I, and he's got this gun in his pocket. I said, listen, man, look at me. I'm telling you what's going on with the house. He's like, huh? I said, stop looking at your gun. Stop looking around. Look at me so we can talk. Guy focused on me. Reggie stood back because he's like, oh, shoot, how you going to tell this guy, look me in the eye, and he's got a gun? So the guy basically tells him he used to live in a house on the corner. He used to live in a house down the street. Now he owns this one. He's not giving it up. So we left. He calls me back about four days later, and he explains to me that he's bought quarter-inch steel plates, and he welded his whole house fully these steel plates with the, with the car barriers and everything he has, like, four to six months supply of food in his house okay and guns and ammo so he says to me hey come on over so you can check it out so i go over there like an idiot and i go he says come on in i said man i'm not coming in that house <laughs> and you lock me in and hold me as hostage but this dude literally had steel plates all around his house in the inside seriously and he had like three inch slots where the window should be at so that he could watch everything that's going on in the neighborhood. But they battered rammed his door, took him out. 